ni teknamsangi ya jishinde.com Hello there and welcome to video 2 of the workflow series and today we are going to set up the custom workflow table and page and a look at the most important fields that are needed in as much as the workflow is concerned so we will start with the table i have already created the table so that we um save on time and if you would like to go into the detail of creation of a table there is a beginner series for you that you can be able to check right uh on this channel so the first step is to create your own table that will be um your custom table of course you could be having it already but if you are uh, you don't have the table then create your table with the detail that uh of the data that needs to be approved for this for uh, for this demonstration i've created the simplest table with only the number field that has got a trigger for the number series so it will be populated automatically from the number series series which has extended the purchases and payable setup table to add the workflow header numbers so the name of my table is custom workflow header just to make sure that we are focused on the workflow only i've even named it after the workflows and uh, then there is only the only detail that you need to capture is the description of this particular workflow and then we do have a status field that is an enum that ref references the custom approval enum and this is also so important and and then uh when you look at this custom approval enum you do have it being extensible we can say it's false because most of the time we don't need to change these options and it's always mostly open pending approved and rejected unless you do have another option maybe in between the rejected or maybe you could have a posted option uh some people refer uh, prefer to use the approval as that but the standard is having this for because the when you open when you create a document by default it's open when you send for approval it's pending when it's approved it's approved if you cancel for approval during pending you take it back to open and uh when it's rejected then the status goes to rejected so these are on the only uh, standard options and you can reuse this enum in many other tables so this is our custom approval enum then here we do have now uh the number series table uh field which is just basically for helping us being able to create the number series so this I'll share the code for this table so or don't worry or for this the code of this workflow series so don't worry about anything uh we also do have the on insert trigger that will make sure that if we get the purchases and payable set up workflow header number then we can initiate our series uh, of course this is common number series um knowledge so the other important bit here is to make sure that this particular field is not editable the status field as well as this uh uh the primary key field or the number field since it's generated from it's generated from the uh it's generated from the number series so once you have done your table right what's most important if you already have a table is to add this identification way of a status if the you do have a field existing known as the status you can call it approval status no harm in that as long as it is understandable and of course when you have a table you should also have a page to mirror that particular table that you have created or to show the detail and the most important here that i've seen for the list page is the number description and the status and uh, here we also do have now the card page which is also the same name as the uh, table name which is a custom workflow header card and then the card page does have the number description and the status because we need, we need to know the status of this particular approval and then now here in the card page is where i've added the 
relevant actions that will help us in approval. So we do have a request for approval and the image is send approval request. Even the icon of that image shows that we would we'd like to make a request and then uh, once, uh, okay, I've just sent set it to be having a message, send approval request. And then um, we do have a cancel approval request and uh, we have a way of looking at all the approvals or you can approve, you, you can reject, you can delegate, you can comment. Uh, the only thing that is missing here is a way of looking at the approvals. So let me just add it here at the end. So we need a way of looking at the approvals. So here we'll call it approvals. The image will be approvals. And that's the image. You can see this is the image for approvals. Then uh, view sent approval, view approval requests. Then the visibility or for it to be enabled, uh, open approval entries exists for current user. I think that's okay if we say that the open approval entries exist for current user. You can see the approvals, but I believe everyone should be able to see the approval. So it is, should just be visible, nothing much. And then uh, this one will get uh, the open approval entries page from the approvals management code unit, which this is a code unit that we'll look at uh, mostly in this workflow series, apart from having look uh, at events, then uh, apart from the events that I mentioned in the first video that will be critical, the approvals management code unit is another very critical code unit uh, that will help us in these custom approvals or the custom workflows. So that's it for this video. Before I uh, log off from the video, we should definitely test and see what's happening and uh, there we are we should log in my license wants to expire and uh, yes here are the approvals you can see the approvals here you see, most of the actions are not active because we others is like open approval entries exist for current users, so they won't be active unless or not visible unless we do have those open approvals. And you, if you have open approvals, that's when you can be able to even approve. So this is a show me what I need uh, way. Uh, instead of displaying everything to the user that they don't need, only display the most important thing. And as at this, the only thing that is important for the user is an ability to send the approval request. You can only cancel when there is a, an approval request that has been sent and uh, when you have open approval request. So that's when you can be able to cancel. So no need of showing them unnecessary detail. So we will be adding our workflow from here. And uh, workflow header number 004 will be header number 4. So number four, in the next video, we are going to have a look at now what goes in now these functions. We will create our custom approvals code unit. So just check out for this, uh, the code that has been created in this page and reach this point where you have your table set up and the page set up as you await the next video. So I will see you in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss the next one.